I'm Redneck Computer Geek and this is my follow-up on my solar soda can heater. Um, <coughs> sorry for the cough, it's uh, negative two degrees out right now so we're gonna keep this quick before the camera seizes up. Um, as you can see I'm squinting, that's because right now the sun is right about there and it's really coming in. I'll post up a photo Right now, this solar can heater is making about 100 degrees out the top. Um, I did at one point end up actually putting a solar panel right here on the glass. I found one at AutoZone that actually had suction cups and would actually stick to the glass on the inside of the heater. Well, that sounds like a really good idea because of the fact that we think, hey, the uh, the sun is the sun is up so therefore the heater must actually be making heat so therefore let's power a fan well what I actually discovered was that that didn't work out well it actually worked better being a passive system and the reason for that was because what was happening was the sun would actually trigger the fan at the top of the heater to kick on and it would kick on almost about an hour and a half before the heater ever actually started making any heat um, and thus it actually ended up cooling the heater and was counterproductive to my needs. Um, so what I've actually done is I have a fan and when I'm home during times that the heater is in production, I actually plug it in using a uh, plug that came off a old Linksys router which produces 12 volts and it runs a computer fan just fine. Um, the other thing that I found was that here in the state of Maine, I actually only get about six hours or so during the day in which the heater actually produces more than 80 degrees. And I'm using 80 degrees as my benchmark because I've been measuring what comes out of my actual hot air furnace and it's about 80 to 85 degrees that blows out of the hot air furnace and so therefore I don't actually consider it being a heater until it produces at least 85 degrees. Um, currently with the sun hitting at full bore and it being negative 2 degrees out right now, um, I'm getting about 100 degrees as you saw in the photo that I posted earlier and I'll post it up again. Um, that being said, the heater actually only produces that 80 degrees about six hours out of the day, which is about a quarter of the day, which in its sense, in a sense, doesn't seem much until you start figuring out the fact of any other time I would be currently running oil in order to be able to heat my house. And we really only use the living room for those six hours. So what does it matter whether you heat the other rooms in the house? So, yeah, it throws off the oil heater in the fact that it doesn't heat the rest of the house because it thinks that the core room is up to temperature, so therefore the rest of the rooms are up to temperature. But even in that sense, most of the rooms in the house only drop about five to ten degrees so it really doesn't make too much of a difference in the long term um, otherwise than that I've really enjoyed building this it was a great father-son project I intend to expand upon the idea later on but for now this was a great first time trial I'm actually debating the idea of whether I could make one the size of a garage door. Um, basically, I have a bay in one, one side of my garage that faces south, and I pretty much only use it to store a car over the winter. And so I was thinking, what if you could actually make fold-out garage doors that were actually solar heaters like this kind of idea? Either way... Thank you for following my channel, and if you found this through search, hopefully you'll subscribe, and have fun, guys.